recording this game live and I realised that I started basically performing a terrible rendition of Mandy by Barry Manilow and that's not something that really bears recording and preserving forever or at least for as long as YouTube lasts which you know I'm gonna guess is, is a while I imagine you know YouTube has got some legs on it. So this is game, I, I, re I suppose a replay of a, a game that I just played in the T3485 which as I've said at length is the best tier 6 medium tank in the game and I know people are going to go but what about the Cromwell, what about the VK30 something 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 <sighs> look at that, I feel sorry for this Panzer 4H He's just sort of sitting there looking sad and dejected. <laughs> Poor guy. And it's not like he's even the lowest person in the game. There's what have we got here? We got a Covenanter, which I feel even more sorry for, really. Now in this game, I panicked a little because I was gonna go right down the sort of the wiggly road by the by the river. I thought better of it, turned around and went up the high ground on the cliffs. This mountain pass is probably not the right place for medium tankers to go but I'll be honest going through the middle has always felt a little suicidal unless I'm in something very fast and going d the sort of the, the riverside now turns into just this complete stally grind first most of the time but there are SBGs on each side which means that the deadlock if there is a deadlock there it can kind of be broken you don't need a direct line of sight and also, that's why I like SPGs in this game, because I think they force you to play the game essentially differently. I think a lot of games where the tanks feel like they get a bit stalemate -y. no one wants to be the first to take the damage, and there's a lot of sort of camping, and again, that's fine, it's not a, it's not a ridiculously fast-paced game. Because I think said that some of the WGL EU games last weekend were very fast and very decisive. But when you basically got 15 strangers aside who aren't ever going to communicate with one another, you know, that's that's how it's going to be. It's People are going to... they don't want to be the first one out, they don't want to be the guy that takes the damage. You want to be careful. And... can't begrudge them that, but I think it's... SPGs really shine in this game mode because they stop that kind of deadlock, which is otherwise a bit, a bit sad, a bit grindy, a bit dull. <clears throat> and playing an SPG isn't, you know, terribly exciting. You kind of click, and that's God. kv 85s always cause me grief. Ever since I added them to the game, I've not, I've not been happy with them. Anyway, so yeah, again, I like SPGs. I don't think I like playing them, but that's fine. I don't really like playing tank destroyers rather much either. It's, I think they should stay in. I think getting rid of them would be a bad idea. And then, see, like there, like if I was standing still, I would have just been punished for it. So it's, it keeps everyone moving. Having shells raining around you, the the big boom, the sort of like really nice headphones, sort of the reverberating, bone shuddering noises of artillery, like big shells landing next to you. It's pretty good. It makes you jump. It's like a jump scare. Game. So this is yeah a game that actually goes pretty well for the T3485. And to be honest, it's hard to have a bad game in this tank. I can't stress how much I like it enough. But, I saw, I think on Jingle's channel, there was a video about new tanks, and there was like a premium T-34-85 based on a Polish television program, and I really need to look this up, because I'm kind of curious about, you know, that sort of thing, is it? How silly is it going to be? I imagine... You mentioned that one of the characters in it is a dog. Now, I'm immediately thinking... 
something that's really stupid and wacky and it's probably not like that at all. But if I was going to shout out for a premium tank, I'll be honest, a, a, a nicely painted T-3485 would be one I'd consider because it's a tank that I already know that I like. I've got Russian tanks and I'd like to train up Russian crews using it. Which is why I've got the church, the Lenley's Churchill. I think in this game, actually, I'm top of the tree in terms of like top of the rankings in terms of damage, just because I get so many just nice flank shots that other people set up. And finally, it's my turn to set something up, so I'm just going to sit. I just sit here, keep this guy's attention while the KV1 <laughs> comes around to the side. And finishes him off. So there you go. Fun game with a T3485. As if there was really any other type. Um, hopefully this is recorded properly. I've been having some problems with the microphone recently. And we'll see. Fingers crossed.